There are many issues or lackluster areas within Minecraft that Mojang still has yet to fix or improve upon. It almost seems like they are scared to make major changes, leading many to dislike the company. That argument isn't the focus actually today though. There's a fair argument to be had that Mojang is lazy, but I don't necessarily agree with it. Though, I want to actually focus on an argument that I have seen brought up much less, as in I haven't seen anyone bring it up at all actually, and that is, is it the community that's lazy actually? That's what we're looking into in this video. To be honest, the speed at which Mojang works has never been much of a concern to me. I have always cared much more about the quality of the content that we get, and the importance or significance of what we receive as features or changes. There's a long list of issues or unbalanced things in Minecraft, or any number of exploits. Yet Mojang often shows little to no interest in fixing these, like they are afraid to for some reason, and that's partly their fault, you could say, for being scared, but of what? Well, I'd say the answer is the community, likely more than anything else. Mojang is, I think anyway, scared of community backlash. Why take the time to fix one of the game's glaring flaws when that's not what Microsoft wants them to do, and they could risk community backlash? This is a major problem with the Minecraft community. Just take the villager trading experiments, for example. Villager trading is very unbalanced as a feature, and no, the fact that you don't need to use it doesn't excuse that. It should be fair, the game should be balanced. And then Mojang finally seemed to realize that and care when they showed interest in fixing it with the villager trade experiments. But guess what happened when they did? People were furious at them. But keep in mind that these were only an experiment, the first iteration of an experiment, mind you. We should have gotten plenty more tests and versions after that to see what worked well and what didn't. But we never got any more versions of that experiment after the first. Mojang essentially gave up before they could even try. For the first iteration of an experiment, the changes weren't bad, but they certainly could have been better. And people should have been willing to see what Mojang had in store after that for fixing villager trading. I've seen quite a few really good proposed systems by people in the community. In fact, I'm going to be making my own entire video about just a way to fix villager trading and mending. But anyway, people didn't look to see what Mojang would make after that. They were close-minded. They became mad instantly. And as for Mojang, I feel that they were far too easily deterred by community backlash. They should have kept going with the experiments, but still, as of now, we haven't seen any updates to them. There were so many ways that they could have fixed the broken system, they just didn't really try. And let's be real here, there was really one major reason why people were so angry about the villager trade overhaul. Mending, and having it locked to a swamp villager when there is no swamp village. Like I said, this first experiment iteration certainly wasn't perfect. Transporting a villager all the way to a swamp, especially if you wouldn't have one anywhere nearby, could be very tedious and also not very fun. I don't think biome locking enchantments was really necessary, there were many other ways to go about fixing mending and how the player obtains it, because it is certainly one of, if not the most powerful enchantment in the game. It's one that should be a real challenge to get your hands on, but people didn't want to have to go through the effort to get one of the most powerful enchantments in the game. They wanted one of the best enchantments to just be handed to them for practically free from some villager right off the bat. It's not a good system, it's not a fair system, and it 
is harmful to the sandbox of the game more than anything. It completely throws off and obliterates the risk versus reward ratio, or even the time spent versus reward ratio. But people got used to that. They got used to it being ridiculously easy to get mending. They didn't want to have to go through the effort to travel to a different biome to get a different enchantment. It seems that some people in the community got lazy. And it's because of this laziness in the community that this flaw with villager trading still persists to this day. And even still, in that villager experiment, there were some pretty good changes made, like with wandering traders. You could define it as laziness, or another thing that one could apply to the modern-day Minecraft community is being unaccepting of change. Minecraft is still a work in progress. It's a game that is actively in development, yet many people act like it isn't, like it can't be changed in any major ways for some reason, especially when it comes to nerfs. You could consider the villager rebalancing a nerf, with mending being harder to get, and people really didn't like it. Even though it was an attempt to improve the game and make it more balanced, people thought it was just making their lives too difficult. Meanwhile, now compare this to the minecart changes just recently, people have been okay with those for the most part, because they are essentially just buffing minecarts. Even still, I've seen quite a few people upset over them, because they could break old farms or contraptions, which doesn't make much sense seeing as the max minecart speed is a game rule that can be changed. But anyway, the reality that you need to accept when playing Minecraft is that the game is not done, it is still an active development, things are bound to change whether you like it or not. Old farms might break, you might have to adapt your playthrough a little bit. Maybe you'll have to learn some new mechanics if you want to see everything there is to see in the world. Change in a game that is still being developed is obviously inevitable. So. I think it's time we stop acting like it is, and welcome change that may come to Minecraft's major systems, and have the priority just be good game design, and having the game be enjoyable. That should go for Mojang too. They shouldn't let themselves be so easily deterred by community reaction, and instead just do what's better for the game in the long run. If they actually did that, then we would still be seeing new villager trade experiments. But also, if the community had been more willing to put game design over things just being easy, that way we also could have had villager trade overhauls. So, you see what I mean when I say neither side is completely to blame here? We both have done our parts in harming the game. Mojang's made some pretty dumb decisions, and the Minecraft community has had some pretty bad takes at times. Because a lot of the vocal people in the Minecraft community aren't professional game designers, myself included, of course. Though I've even seen people try to argue that the general principles of good game design don't apply to Minecraft for some reason. That is baffling in and of its own right. But the big takeaway here is, easier doesn't necessarily equal better for the game. Mending being harder to get would be healthier for the sandbox of Minecraft by balancing things out. And at the end of the day, I'm sure we can all agree we want Minecraft to be a better game. And if Mojang isn't going to improve it in those larger areas where it fails, then what's the point of them working on the game anyway? But those are just my thoughts. So I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, I hope to see you in the next one, whatever that may be. Goodbye.